Hello folks, it's time to look at more ray diagrams. If you missed the first two videos about these diagrams, you can find them in the reflection and mirrors list. We have moved well past mirrors and will now apply the principles of refraction and look at concave lenses. First, there are some things you should know about lenses. They are transparent and light can pass through them from any direction. Because of this, a lens is designed to have two foci that's the plural of focus. Recall that a curved mirror had just one focus. With lenses, the picture is slightly more complicated. One more thing, we are now dealing with concave lenses, and this type of lens can only form a virtual image. This is what a concave lens looks like in cross-section. Like a mirror, we draw a horizontal axis and a vertical pole through it. Notice the two foci, both labeled F, if it helps, you can call them F1 and F2. Because the lens is symmetrical, they are both exactly the same distance from the pole. And of course, we have our object. It doesn't matter much where our furry friend sits, as long as she's somewhere along the axis. We start just like for a mirror. Draw an incident ray that goes in parallel to the axis. However, instead of reflecting, this one will be refracted and pass through the other side of the lens. The refracted ray goes directly away from the first focus, so draw a dotted line connecting that focus to the pole. And here's the refracted ray. Notice it's moving up and away from the axis, almost like a ray reflected off a convex mirror. Next, we draw an incident ray that's aimed at the second focus, but of course it won't hit that focus because it's refracted instead. Stop this ray at the pole. Refraction causes the ray to come out parallel to the axis, like this. Notice anything strange? The rays do not converge, in fact they diverge and spread apart. This is why concave lenses are often called diverging lenses. We need virtual rays to converge and make an image, so now we trace that second ray back as a dotted line. We have two dotted lines that cross between the cat and the lens. That point is where the image appears. Let's put some adjectives on it. The cat's image is smaller than it, so we say it's diminished. It's still on its feet, so it's an upright image. And it's virtual. I said that concave lenses only form virtual images, and you can draw as many ray diagrams as you like to try and prove me wrong. Let's have a quick recap. Once more, an image in a concave lens is always virtual, no matter how far or close the object is. Concave lenses behave in a similar way to convex mirrors, except light rays are refracted through them rather than reflected off them. To draw a ray diagram for a concave lens, first draw a ray that goes in parallel to the axis and is refracted away from the first focus, in parallel out away from F. Then. Draw one aimed at the second focus and refract it at parallel to the axis, in towards F, out parallel. And just in case you need reminding, use a ruler. Do not underestimate the usefulness of a straight edge. Next time will be the last video on ray diagrams, and the subject will be convex lenses. See you there.